So you want to video edit and you're trying to upgrade your video editing skills, well guess what, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you the best plugin for tracking movement in Final Cut Pro 10, aka FCPX. Welcome here to the Anthony Allen YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to use a Pixel Film Studios plugin auto tracking. I'm going to show you how you can auto track movement with a Pixel Film Studios plugin. I'm going to show you how well it works and we're also going to use some complex videos in order to track the movement of an object, person or thing. And if you want to get started with this plugin today, there is a link down below in the description. The art of tracking movement. So what is tracking movement? What is this piece of video editing technique that people do in order to complete the image that you will see on screen shortly when I've explained what this is. <laughs> so the art of tracking movement, I'll give you an example right now with two objects. I have a sponge and I also have the Viper Mini gaming mouse. It's not inside, but this is the box. And the link for this mouse is in the description. I do recommend it for your gaming PC or gaming setup. This mouse can also be used on the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, plug it into your console and you can now use your mouse on your console when there are games that you can play with a mouse and keyboard. So let's say this is a object in a piece of video and this object moves from this direction over to here and you want a title that points out this object to follow along. Let's say this is the title. Whatever this is can change. It can be an emoji, it can be something that's on top of the image but it will not move until you add a track and track the movement. Imagine it like a train on a train track. The train cannot move, the train cannot move until it has a track. What you do is you create keyframes, which is each nozzle in the track, so it can move. You pinpoint the movement. So you, if you want it to move from one second here to here, you create what's called a keyframe. The keyframe is the attribute as to where this is located at this point in time and where it's located in this point in time. But of course, if you do not add these keyframes, it won't move from one second to another. It will simply stay still. You then move along the timeline to add keyframes to the track. Let's say this sponge is a title. That's what we're talking about here in this video. We're going to use a title and we're going to track the movement of an object or thing. And I'm going to be doing this with very complicated pieces of imagery. Gaming is very popular, so we'll use gaming footage in order to show off what this plugin is capable of. This plugin makes that process a lot easier so you do not need to create every single keyframe of movement and you do not need to go into tracking the movement of that object all you will need to do with this plugin is simply select the object you want to track add the title to the track movement and it will follow along without you having to dive too deep into your video editing it makes it a lot easier for those beginner editors so you do not need to make every single keyframe all you need to do is occasionally if the sponge moves off the track is to just correct that movement and put it back to where it should be at that point in time therefore you won't have to do too much really aching headache annoying editing process of tracking the movement of that object it can also really take up a lot of time so let's say you want a title to follow along with the object and the title is not moving or it moves fairly quickly this will mean that you will need to go and zoom into your timeline and really create that movement if you want it to be smooth. But let's say this moves for a long period of time and you want the title to follow along. This will require a lot of keyframes and that is what this plugin does for you. It creates that process 
for you and does it for you and makes things super super easy hopefully my viper mini and my sponge explanation makes a lot of sense title object the title you want to follow the object hello hello uh, mr sponge following along <laughs> When we're rating digital products here on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel, there are a few things that we consider. Is it useful? Does it save you time? And does that make it a good plugin or piece of software? And this 100% is a good piece of software. It's practical and you can use it for many different purposes and video projects. Let's say you're doing a business presentation and you're trying to point out something in video, but the thing you're trying to point out moves this can be a real headache when you're trying to explain that thing that's moving or pinpoint something about that thing that's moving so rather than trying to do this verbally you can do this using this plugin you can point out that object that's moving or an attribute about that object that is moving and give that visual imagery on screen for example, with the title that follows the object that moves, you can then give this title a name. For example, it can be ball. Maybe someone's kicked a ball and you can't see the ball in the shot and you're trying to talk about that ball flying out of the shot or towards something, or maybe as a piece of evidence in a court case, maybe you're trying to point out, hey, look, that person threw that ball over there. You can now do that with this plugin. Whatever purposes you are using to track an object and give it a title or use it as an example in a presentation, for example, this will be made a lot easier with this plugin. It's very useful, it saves you time, and that makes this a really good plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 and in general for video editors. This can be an absolute winner in terms of you actually starting with Final Cut Pro 10 because of how useful this plugin is. I know of editors that have downloaded Final Cut Pro 10 and pay for it just to use this plugin. If you want to get started with this Auto Tracker plugin today, that's one of the uses of this Auto Tracker. It will be down in the description below. It's for Final Cut Pro 10 and it's available at Pixar Film Studios. You can use my link in the description to get started with this plugin today and don't forget that when you get started with this plugin once you have downloaded it from the website you can install the pixar film studios installer to help you with the upgrades that are offered from pixar film studios so you're not left alone when you have this plugin on your machine there are updates and improvements that are made to the plugin as a part of the pixar film studios service and that's one of the reasons why pixar film Studios are amazing because they are upgrading and updating the plugins that you download from them today. So if you download something from them, there may be updates that are available constantly to improve that plugin or give that plugin more. You're definitely getting your value for your money when you're using Pixar Film Studios plugins. So now that I've given you an example of what this plugin is, how it works, let's now show you some examples of the plugin in action. I will also take you into Final Cut Pro 10 to show you how this works firsthand. We're going to track an object in a piece of gaming footage to show you the title moving along with that object that we are tracking. Inside of Final Cut Pro now, I'm using the Auto Tracker 1.1 and we're going to use the standard HD text title tracker there. You can see that there is a 3D version and you can see that we have the right selected folder. I'm now going to drag in that HD text over the top of our gaming footage. You can see the properties already populated in the preview menu here. Let's give you a closer look at that. I'm now going to drag the title tile to fill the footage in which we are tracking the subject or object. In this case, we're tracking an assassin from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's very important to make sure that the tile is the right size in order to make sure that we're tracking the right piece of footage. Now I'm going to pull this and we're going to actually skim over the piece of footage to find where Eivor's head is most visible and clear because that's what I want to track and I want the text to follow in this example. So around about here is where I can see that Avril's head is clearly in shot. I can also select 
different selection tools here to draw around the object or subject that I am tracking but we're going to leave it with the default square that I have already selected here I'm going to select the tile and then I'm going to open the inspector window here now with the inspector window open we can get a look inside this plugin and what it has to offer in terms of the tracking tools when you're tracking an object or subject you can see that we have track controls here and that's going to be very important going forward it's going to be the main thing that you use when you're tracking a subject you can track the scale of a subject and you can track the rotation of a subject if the thing that you are tracking rotates or changes in size you would select these check marks here and then of course the search size is the amount in which it will scale up and down if you toggle that up it will obviously scale more I'm now going to move these little markers here to make sure that it is firmly around the head of Avor because I want to make sure that my track is tracking the right part of this footage so here I'm going around the head of Avor to make sure that that is the object within the footage that is being tracked and nothing within the background or foreground that obstructs that. You can then change the text. For example, here I'm writing Avor's name. Once you're happy and you have a clear shot of the object or subject that you are tracking, you can then track backwards and then you can track forwards from your selected part of the timeline. After you have successfully tracked, you will see that the text does not appear until you change the overall scale of the text and you will see that text within the shot. Notice how I haven't moved the playhead from the original position. You can then change the anchor point and you can see me doing that here to make sure that the text is above Avor's head and it will track directly on top. Skimming through the footage here, you can already see what the finish effect looks like and here is the finished effect and I will give you another example of this in action with a smooth track and that text following the subject in which we are tracking here. Avor is in a precarious position that most people would be frightened of, quite high up in the air ready for a leap of faith and here you can see that I have written flame here and I will also give you a shot of Fortnite before we conclude. So here is the Raz skin. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe here to the Anthony Allen YouTube channel. This video will be in my FCPX plugins playlist, which you will find below on my channel page. Don't forget to visit my channel page so you can find the content that is relevant to you. I upload three different types of content, gaming, editing and online money and in this online money editing video you have just been taught about a plugin that is available at Pixafilm Studios today. This can save you time and it's also value for money. Get started with this plugin today by clicking that link in the description and downloading it today. My name is Anthony Allen, thank you for watching this video here on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.